Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutsarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and uh, Capricorn Rising Weekly Tsarot and Enormant Reading for uh, January 7th to January 13th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you that that will be a, a general reading for a Capricorn star sign and uh, for that reason I will try in this video to make uh, to, to <clears throat> show you the meanings of the cards or to tell you the meanings of the cards and to do the synergy in the spread but ultimately at the end you have to uh, align them to your personal situation <clears throat> for a uh, most accuracy now if you want me to do that for you just like I'm doing for the few examples I'm giving in this video uh, that will be a subject of a personal reading and uh, for personal readings you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing so that as well is going to be a, an enhanced tarot spread in which we are going to draw a uh, additional card per position <coughs> And so Capricorns, just from the overview, from the overview here, now that could seem like a detachment, most likely professionally oriented, or it uh, does seems like uh, I don't know how to name it, dominions would I say, where you start dominating uh, over a specific person or over a specific situation throughout this week so basically you become the stronger person or you become the stronger factor here um, in this uh, in this situation whatever that situation is uh, for yourself career wise relationship wise or a friendship wise again it will depend it will be different for every single uh, different Capricorn that situation but uh, rest assured here uh, for what it seems you are will be you will be able to get the upper hand for throughout the week and you will at the end of the day you are going to be the boss there and uh, <clears throat> that here uh, as with the king of with the knight of wands excuse me appearing into that place it does point for the vast majority of tools that you will find you can use in your disposal in order to uh, start gaining control over this situation either into your family or either into your career or relationship it doesn't matter and as well this week uh, most likely you will start to experiment with those tools seeing which one is most efficient with a, a less efforts from your behalf uh, for ex just to give you an example here let's say that you do have a family capricorn and uh, you are to find out throughout the week throughout this week that you have a lot of leverage um, I don't want to say against your wife or against your husband but towards your wife or towards your husband through which uh, you know you can maintain bigger control um, over over your family and over your relationship and in general you will not uh, you have the tools to stop allowing them to 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 make shenanigans to exploit you or basically to do whatever they want as they have as well responsibilities to take uh, <clears throat> These cards here are, are also showing that uh, throughout this week you will be able to do this with a, a huge amount of, uh, of uh, lightness, if I may express myself that way. So it's not going to be that tough and it's not going to be that difficult for you to really exert your authority and to exert your power. The Emperor card, it is, it is showing that the bullshit has to stop and they are going to stop throughout the week and a certain order and certain rules there either into your uh, career endeavors or relationship enterprise needs to be established and you will be the creator of those rules throughout this week so uh, I hope you know or I kind of advise you to be as well fair when it comes to um, when it comes to establishing those rules and the fairness comes here as a challenge having the five of swords 
but we are going to talk about talk about that card in a while so the next one that we do have this is the core of the situation and that will be the five of wands followed with uh, the um, two of cups and here we do see a huge disturbance into a, a communication and in general into a sharing type of communication so for example you were a, a very good friend with a certain person but for some reason uh, you know this friendships uh, this friendship is suffering right now I mean simply you are not uh, you are not spending uh, that quality time that you had spent previously in the past you are not sharing um, any longer among one another what kind of a, a good fortune you have experienced or what kind of a pains and poignant fortune you had experienced and etc etc so kind of like we do have a, a wall of ice here which appeared recently in the past in between you and a certain person <clears throat> that is at the core of the situation and that's and now we are seeing that these rules here these authority that you are to incorporate and exert is going to be in attempt to regain back you know that um, quality of relationship that you had with that guy or a girl you know with that co-worker or, or with that boyfriend or a girlfriend if you want to say it that way as well um, <clears throat> here you know so you can you can again regain uh, regain the same um, valuable relationship as you are about to lose. Again, you are about to lose, but I don't think that that is going to get to be the case throughout that week. It's very important here to know that you are a strong enough to uh, how can I say it basically to approach this uh, this person or that society of people for that matter, because it could be as well society of people and uh, to so basically the, the 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 things happen how you are going to make the things happen well that depends on what kind of a tools you will have on your disposal because these tools are going to be different for every single uh, one of you these leverages you have but you can definitely make another another go here uh, you can definitely give a second chance to to that relationship either business relationship again or either intimate relationship it will be different but you definitely can restore um, to a a harmonious level a, a relationship in your life that right now has a, a solid wall of ice in there and it's actually I don't want to say dysfunctional but it goes more toward the poignant side of the spectrum additionally um, these cards here on a more practical level it may point that um, in case we're talking about love interest all right <clears throat> so these cards may point that you are uh, if you do have a, a love interest and uh, this love interest isn't paying attention to you and they it doesn't really give you the uh, the attitude that you are expecting that is because uh, your strategy of approaching them it kind of seems to them very um, I would say insecure and as well very scattered in a sense of that they, they doesn't look you as a serious person for one or another reason and throughout this week you know you're gonna find the right measures or the right approach how you can show how serious you are now that's in case you are very serious again you are gonna find that approach should you exert it well that entirely again depends on you because yeah you are gonna find it but is it gonna be easy well that is the topic of entirely another reading so the next card the third card here that we do have for you Capricorns this is the five of swords which is the challenges which are causing predicaments and the next one that is the moon card so as we said <laughs> that you should be fair with how you exploit the situation as you are going to have the uh, the power and the authority to do so here we coming to a, a very rough approach that it will be something you find very difficult to resist <clears throat> and uh, it, it's simply where as soon as you see you know how influential you are into that situation instantly you may figure out for yourself that attending to the situation with an iron hand it is the most 
let's say logical thing for you to do and it is the worst thing really that you can do what these cards are pointing that you may op uh, adopt the standpoint that what at all cost you will do whatever it is necessary here to um, how can I place it uh, to extingly to extingly to extinguish excuse me to extinguish uh, any kind of probability to lose control further into the future so it's kind of like a, a tyrannical ruleship if you want to say it that way or a ruthless uh, undertaking that you may exercise upon this endeavor or a um, reckless you know um, <coughs> reckless approach there which is going to actually do more harm than good i mean even though you are going to have the authority and the presence and the means necessary you know in order to regain back control over that relationship or in generally as i said to uh, to exert influence in there and to find the and exploit the weaknesses of those people that you want to uh, regain back control over these cards are pointing that no matter how much you try to do that to a hundred percent extent uh, you will never one person is never able to um, to maintain control it is it, that is impossible otherwise this world wouldn't see any wars wouldn't see any rebellions wouldn't see any revolutions it is simply impossible to maintain a hundred percent control over a certain situation and that's why what these cards are asking you here Capricorns is uh, to actually um, analyze very capable uh, very accurately or how far your capabilities go or rather like how far these boundaries uh, let's say how far you want to kind of like establish your boundaries at so you should not trust passing a certain thresholds and if we're talking about here regaining control over intimate relationship um, again there is a, a serious chance with these cards that as you are doing it so you may start stifling uh, your partner it is just suffocating them in there not giving them a uh, room to breathe being uh, possessive being stalky and etc etc uh, wanting to know everything that they do and and so on and so forth i mean you got to give them some space of freedom regarding regardless is this going to be a um a friendship type of relationship here or a uh, intimate or a business one it's simply you got to give them some um, some room of a freedom and if it is a business relationship then you also have to allow your business partner to have some uh, sorts of a uh, of valuability or validity of choice if I may express myself that way so they also need to feel significant in it and not like being smothered beneath the toe of someone with greater authority and the last card that we do have this is the guidance here and that will be the eight of pentacles with the nine of cups and these cards are showing that even though you will be able to establish that control here and you will be able to um, repair back the bridge which connects you with another human being all right the uh, the work is far from over and uh, what you will accomplish throughout this week is just the very uh, the very foundation it's just the start of what you can achieve in the long run this is displayed here with the nine of cups and the nine of cups even though it may means that a dream comes true you know and you're going to experience a significant amount of happiness this isn't a long lasting happiness it's a, a short duration happiness with the potential to become long lasting but if you want to make it long lasting one you have to work for it you have to sustain it you have to nurture it you have to feed it one way or another <clears throat> otherwise is going to basically be extinguished and in conjunction with the eight of pentacles as well it does kind of validate that point here the eight of pentacles is what the guy is doing the guy is working the what the guy is making money if from one side if you look at the card from one side but the pentacles are not just symbol of money the pentacles are symbol of security and of stability so as soon as you maintain the control 
and you restore the bridge in between you and another human being, your immediate concern should be the stability and the security of that bridge and being a stifling and being possessive person on your behalf is not the way how you do it. The pentacles, if we are following as a advice card, pentacle is always a symbol as well of trust. So by uh, showing to that person that you trust them, it is a, a much better way how you're going to sustain this relationship and how you are going to make them uh, simply either believe in you or uh, you will uh, extinguish their, how can I place it, you know, um, their thoughts, for example, of leaving you further into the future and etc, etc. Additionally, the Eight of Pentacles here is showing that from now on there won't be any, there won't be always a red carpets and roses. I mean, these cards are pointing that uh, you are yet to face some ups and downs into that restored relationships, right? But you can really face those uh, ups and downs. And when we look at the Emperor card here, I mean, if you uh, know your boundaries well, the boundaries of your empire, if I might say it that way, you will be able to face those ups and downs with much more ease. And they will be much more predictable and uh, you will have not that much trouble managing them. Sneeze alert. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I guess that cold is still in me. <coughs> I'm still suffering from that cold. Anyway, so uh, yeah, pretty much this is the tarot reading and now we are going to the Lenormand one which is going to show us a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. So the first card that we do have, this is uh, the child and the child is uh, associated with, ch with children, kid or innocence. The next card that we do have, this is the garden and the garden is associated with social circles, uh, social events, a, a large group of people and so on and so forth. And the last one, this is going to be the letter and the letter is associated with message, with an email as well, with something written in a paper or a document or an invitation. But what immediately came into my mind when I look at these three cards was a, a sincere apology. So this is most likely what you are going to receive throughout this week. A, a sincere apology from someone of your social circle or a, a group of people, you know, or it could be someone who is involved into your social circle that could be as well your uh, intimate partner because if you are together in a relationship they do have in touch with your social circle one way or another but it's going to be an innocent message here that is coming outside of the crowd and it's most likely involves a, a apology but how you're going to react on that apology, should you accept it or not, etc, etc, it does depend on you and on your decisions. So that being said, Capricorns, uh, this was your weekly Tarot and, Le and Lenormand reading for January 7 to January 13, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, this was just a general reading for Capricorn star sign and star signs. And it was not, uh, it's uh, kind of like it's going to uh, resonate in a different way with every single different Capricorns. Um, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed just like I did for the examples in this video uh, through Tarot, well, uh, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.